What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Talking TV with Lex review. And today we are talking the season four premiere of Insecure. Y'all, when I tell you, I have been debating with people on social media, my roommates, my friends, going back and forth with people all since last night about this episode. So I have a lot to say. A lot of people did think this episode was, was kind of dry, which I'm not necessarily disagreeing with. I do think it was a really good episode episode to spur a lot of conversation and to really get all type of viewpoints and opinions. So we're going to talk about all that today. But before we get into it, make sure you like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and turn those notifications on so you know anytime I drop a new video. So let's start by talking about Issa. It's really good to kind of see Issa take more things seriously. She's finally getting her life on track. She has a nice house. She, you know, is working on a venture that she's actually really passionate about. And she has a new bae. I don't know if it's necessarily like a bae that she likes and is being serious with. I think it's kind of more of a fuck buddy. I actually really, really liked him. Like when they were having sex, he was really, really, you know, making sure that she was enjoying it too. Switching the positions, even if he liked it, making sure that it was a position that she liked and she was, you know, happy with. He gave her some Hennessy and some weed, which what a man, you know, he came bearing gifts, like brought the penis and brought some Hennessy. Like what? Like what a good guy and you know she got him to help her with his event and he actually took the job seriously he was doing what she asked him to do and she asked him to you know get everybody hyped up and he really took it seriously and was really trying to help her so I really like that you know he does things to make her happy he thinks about her feelings you know it seems like she just sees him as the guy that she just has fun with but I hope that she doesn't you know break his heart because while he may just be a fuck buddy right now the kind of care and attention and you know things he was doing to make her happy kind of made me feel like he actually has feelings for her so I hope in all of her messiness and in her just kind of seeing him as a fuck that she doesn't break his heart because he seems like such a sweet guy and I really really like him and I hope that we see more from him throughout the season. Isa has been working with a new girl Condola. We already knew from last season that you know she had been dating Lawrence um, but she found out in this episode that they were you know they had they're becoming really good friends they're doing really good business together it seems like they really like being around each other and then it's kind of brought up by accident in front of Tiffany who works with the girl like oh I'm dating your ex-boyfriend now I saw a lot of things on social media and with you know texting back and forth with my friends who also watched the episode saying that Tiffany was a bad friend because she didn't tell Issa that Condola went on this date with Lawrence and honestly I don't agree with that at all I don't think Tiffany is to blame in any of this situation I don't think there is anybody to blame how many times has Issa had a good opportunity and she sabotaged it or messed it up for something stupid like her feelings or because of a guy or just not making the right decisions. I think Tiffany was coming more from the place of, oh, yeah, she went on this date with Lawrence, but it seemed like it was just a one and done type of thing. I remember in last season, she was saying that she didn't think that he was going to call her back because she told him that she was divorced. And we even saw a scene with Lawrence when he was saying that he didn't think he wanted to talk to her. So I think it was a situation really where Tiffany was like, oh, she went on one one date with Lawrence it didn't seem like it was anything serious it seems like it was just kind of a one date and that's it kind of thing like how many of us have gone on one date with a guy and never talked to the man again so I think Tiffany was coming from the approach of you know why would I tell Issa this and run the risk of her sabotaging this moment from herself and run the risk of her cutting off somebody that's beneficial to her and that's helping her and that's helping her you know do something that she loves to do for something that's not even that serious I honestly think that if Tiffany thought that it was going to turn into this serious thing with Condola and Lawrence that she would have been more likely to tell Issa. I think she was just kind of deflecting information to protect Issa more so than her trying to be a bad friend. I don't know why people always say that she's a bad friend to Issa because I've never seen her be a bad friend to Issa. She's always been the one kind of ragging on Issa but we all have friends like that so I don't think it's so quick to say that Tiffany is trash. I don't agree with that at all. I think Tiffany was more so protecting Issa from herself versus trying to keep information from Issa to hurt Issa. So that leads to the question of you know should Issa have stopped working with Condola because she is dating Lawrence or should Condola have stopped talking to Lawrence 
because she's working with Issa. And honestly, I think that everybody in this situation handled it the right way. I don't think that it would have been smart for Issa to stop working with Cadola just because she's working with Lawrence. She ain't been stunning Lawrence or worrying about Lawrence this entire time. She's actually taking time to focus on herself and focus on her work. So why put away something that's beneficial to her and helping her and something that she's passionate about for somebody that she hasn't really even cared about all this time? Yes, it's awkward to know that somebody you're working with is dating an ex but I didn't think it was a big enough situation where she had to stop working with Condola especially when Condola and Lauren's dating is still so early like it seemed like they've only gone on like a couple of dates and they finally did it in this episode so it's not like they're about to get married or anything regardless I don't think you should ever let guy issues stop you from getting the bag or doing stuff that's beneficial to you so I don't think that it was necessary for Issa to stop working with Condola I think that would have been childish of her to stop working with Condola and on the flip side I don't think it was any reason for Condola to stop dating Lawrence. I think as long as they're able to handle business, it shouldn't be about who anybody is dating. Issa and Condola don't necessarily have to be friends or besties. They don't have to go hang out. They don't even have to talk about Lawrence and Condola's relationship. I hope they don't talk about Lawrence and Condola's relationship. I hope they keep things strictly professional. And that's what I think more of the concern is in their situation with me. It's not the fact that they both dated the same guy. I think it's the fact that they need to keep this strictly professional strictly a work thing and not blur the lines with making it like an actual friendship because that can start start its own issues in you know professional settings itself when you start becoming too close to your business partners so I don't think the Lawrence thing should be an issue but I do think that um Issa and Condola should kind of pump the brakes on becoming friends and for focus more so on handling their business together but Overall, these are all 30-something-year-old people. They should all be able to work together and handle business without it becoming a messy situation. Speaking of messy situation, Molly is back, of course, and it seems like she's doing pretty well. Of course, you know, she's working at the law firm, like always, and she's on a date with Andrew, and it looks like it's going pretty well. And then on her way to Issa's event, she asks him, she's like, are you dating other people? Now, I would was really surprised that she's even asking him this because all last season she was playing games with this man. I get her being bothered about it but I can't see why she would be upset at him because it's only right that he would be dating other people. What I am happy about though is that she didn't just completely cut him off when he said he was dating someone else. She actually communicated like look I have a problem with it because I have actual feelings for you, which is what she should do in this situation. There's so many women out there who are putting up with a guy, dating him, and they don't want him to date anybody else, and it bothers him that they date other people, but they continue to date him, and I think that is the stupidest thing ever. I agree with Molly where if I want us to only date each other and you don't want to do that, then I need to remove myself. And that kind of leaves it in his court where it's like, okay, well, either I can continue to date other people and not date date Molly because if she tells him she wants to date him exclusively and he says he doesn't then they don't need to date at all don't stay with somebody who is trying to give you something you don't want remove yourself from the situation but he also could be like wow I didn't know you felt this way I really like you too I'm gonna stop talking to other people so we can be exclusive so I think the latter is what is going to happen they left it where we're gonna have to find out in the next episode but I really do think he does like Molly my issue with that though is I know how Molly is I wouldn't be surprised if he's like oh let's date let's be exclusive and then in the next episode she's sabotaging it so there was a lot of discussion about Molly and Issa's conversation when Molly told Issa you know it seems like you just like to have messiness in their life and everybody was dragging Molly they were saying that she's not a good friend they were saying that she's always been a hater to Issa they were saying that they don't like she doesn't like to see Issa do well they were saying that she's a hypocrite calling her messy when her life is messy I think there's a bunch of different factors that came into play on why she said what she said to Issa one I think Molly felt a way about Issa not telling her about the Condola Lawrence situation. We know Issa tried to call Molly, but Molly didn't know that at the time. So I can see her being like, how am I finding out about this big piece of information from somebody else? Two, obviously Molly is going through an issue right now where she doesn't want to share. And it probably could stem from 
the situation she was just in with Dro. She was dating somebody who was in an open relationship. He had a wife. She would leave him to go to her. She felt like she was sharing him and it, she didn't like that. And now she's in a situation where she feels like she's sharing Andrew and she doesn't want to share Andrew. She wants to date him exclusively. And now you have Issa who has always been her, has been her best friend, who is becoming really close friends with somebody else, i.e. Condola. Three, I honestly think that Molly could have been coming from a place of really trying to help Issa. Hear me out. While Molly does have a messy situation, she's always had a messy situation. We all know that. I think Molly knows that. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Issa has always been in messy situations too. So I think when she was coming up from a place of, oh, it seems like you always want to be in mess, I don't think she was trying to come down on her like, oh, you have all this mess and I don't. I think she was coming from a place that we all know. Issa has been in some messiness and sometimes you have to take accountability for the fact that you're allowing this mess coming into your life. Yes, yeah, she took the mature route by continuing to be friends with Condola even though she knows that it kind of bothered her that she's dating Lawrence. But that doesn't mean that messiness won't come out of that situation in the future. This could be bad and you're allowing this situation to come into your life knowing it can be bad. It just seems like you want messy situations in your life. I totally agree with Molly. You know, if this is something you really have a problem with, don't bring it into your life. I see what Molly said to Issa for many different reasons. I think the only fault that Molly truly has in this situation is the way she said it. She didn't have to say it the way she said to Issa. It, everything is about how you say it. But I don't think that takes away from the truthfulness in what she was saying. I don't think at all that this makes Molly a bad friend and that she doesn't want the best for Issa. I think she just felt like she was being honest with her friend. She feels like she's losing her friend so she may be a little jealous about Condola. And you know she was already feeling her type of way about Andrew. Not saying that she's right but also not saying that she's not a good friend so for everybody trashing molly saying she's a bad friend and that she hopes that Issa cuts her off and that she's always been this hater against Issa. I don't agree with that at all and I don't know what's going to happen so far in the season. They opened up the episode saying that she doesn't fool with Molly anymore. I just feel like there has to be something deeper that has happens in the season because I don't think what happened in episode one was bad enough for them to stop being friends with each other and I definitely don't think that Molly is a bad friend to Issa. That wraps up episode one. I really loved this episode. I loved catching up with all of the characters. I loved all the conversation that started about, you know, friendships and dating and dating exclusively and dating a big guy. <laughs> there was a lot of discussion about it on Twitter and I love that it's continuing to be the show that people can, you know, relate to their own issues and talk about. I love the whole, you know, finding Latoya thing. I love seeing, you know, the little mini shows that they make inside of Insecure and I thought doing a documentary was so fitting since everybody's been talking about all these documentaries like Tiger King and Surviving Our Kelly and I loved seeing Portia on there. Portia's my favorite housewife so to see her branching out and to see her on one of my favorite shows I was super duper excited about. Didn't know she was going to be on there so that was a exciting surprise in addition to Ray J so I'm excited to see what they're going to do with that whole aspect of things. Overall really good episode. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode and what you thought of this review and what things you think are going to happen next. I think for me you know like I said I think Molly's going to sabotage her relationship with Andrew like she always does. I see, you know, TSA Bay becoming more of a factor with Issa, either her catching feelings or him catching feelings and her kind of hurting his feelings. I There was no Nathan in this episode. I can't see them never bringing him back, so I'm curious to see how they're going to bring him back in the next episode and just what's going to continue to happen with this whole Condola, Lawrence, and Issa thing. I don't want Condola and Lawrence to become serious at all but at the same time I feel like that's the only thing kind of keeping him on the show right now so if that's what we have to do to keep Lawrence in the storyline and in the plot then I guess I can deal with it for now. I have another quarantine best tv shows to watch list coming out in a few days if you haven't seen the last one I'll link it down below so you can watch it. Great list of shows to watch during this quarantine. Make sure you guys continue to stay home, stay safe, and to continue to come back and watch some more review videos. If you haven't already make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn those notifications on so you know the next time I drop another video that wraps it up for now I'll see you in the next video bye guys